Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching you how you can make this Autism Halloween 40 ounce tumbler. So I'm using this design that I got printed from Etsy and also a 40 ounce. I have the 40 ounce sent down pretty, pretty good. And then I'm using all of these different glitters from PDB Creative Studios. Um, you can use my code Sasha5 to save and I'll have all those linked below. So I am starting with the purple one first, which is called Ardor. And I feel like working my way from the bottom up to the top is a lot easier. So that's what I did. And then I'm doing, I'm using Fearless next over the purple. And I'm just like working my way up. Um, number two is next. That's the yellow. I really love this yellow because it has great coverage. And then I'm going in with Strawberry Lemonade next. And it's kind of peach. And it has like yellow in it also, which I really love because then it makes the yellow. And then, you know, the one that I'm doing right now kind of blend together a little better. And then I'm using Peach Sangria. Hope I'm saying that right. This one's really light, but I really love it because it makes it sparkle more. And you'll see that at the end. And you gotta make sure that you get the handle. I just keep going back and forth. Um, I always leave my handles on, but I send it down really, really good. Like I send it down the entire cup really good just to make sure that everything stays put. And then the last one I'm using is called Pink Diamond. And this is literally one of my favorite pinks. Um, I always use it. I definitely just stock up because I'm almost out. But that's the color combo of everything. I wanna make sure that everything is dry and still before I go on with the next coat of epoxy. And this is how the entire thing looks. But before we go any further, make sure that you like and subscribe, more to come. So since I am working on an autism awareness cup, I did want to make puzzle pieces on the cup somewhere. So I went ahead and made some puzzle pieces, um, got my vinyl out and get that cut out. So this would be like a peekaboo method kind of. And I just want to put the puzzle pieces around where the um, you know decal would go. So I'm just laying it out right now. And then I did use painter's tape to go back in the middle to make sure that that's the part that will be showing. Everything else would get painted black and peekaboo. Um, what I will say is I just used black acrylic paint just to paint my cup where the peekaboo would go. And you can definitely see it, even though it's painted black, you can still see where the vinyl was laid down out so you can pick it up. But um, if you want to spray paint, you definitely can. Spray painting would have been my original option, but um, it's been cold and windy and it's just not something that I feel like is like really good right now. But the acrylic paint still works, so that's what I did. Um, and it did dry pretty fast. If you don't want to wait around for your acrylic paint to dry, you can add a little bit of heat to it, not a lot, a little bit. Just watch how you heat the cup, especially since the handle, I believe, is plastic. But it worked out perfectly once the dried. I was able to pick um, all the vinyl up and it was like peekaboo. See, that's how it turned out. And then I went ahead and I add purple striping tape around, along the top and bottom um, stripes where I had, where I'm gonna have it like outlined at in the middle. Um, just any purple, but you can use any color you want um, to outline it. And then after I had that laid down, you do want to seal your striping tape. I always recommend it because for me, striping tape is always smooth. But I went ahead and epoxied that. And you'll see that here in a little bit. I really love the shine of this. And then after that dried, I went back and added the decal in the middle. My decal is a UVDTF. I have printed at PV Creative Studio. Um, I'll have that link below also. Super easy. I don't know why I cut that um, outline of it out. But if you don't have nails, I feel like cutting the edges a little bit helps you pick it up better. So then I just put that on and then I went back to epoxy down on my turner. But while that's turning, um, I'm going to make a little topper for my 40 ounce lid. Um, not a big topper, but like where the sliding part is basically. So I just used foil and I made the shape of a ghost because I want my clay to have, to be able to keep that shape while it's baking. So that's what I did really quick. I just made like a little shape of a ghost real quick. And then I took some white clay, this is Sculpey brand. And it's like kind of glittery also and i went ahead and flooded that out flattened that out and when you start putting it over the top of your foil it automatically just makes like those um waves and ridges and stuff so you don't have to do much for it and go ahead and bake that at 275 for 15 minutes while that's um baking actually mine's already baked it's just sitting here um i went ahead and i painted it because i wanted the lid to still have um, some color to it so i'm using some adhesive apothecary cauldron colors the colors are called Tarot and Psychic, and I also have those linked below, and you can use my code Sasha to save. What I did was I just painted the opposite sides, and then once I got to the middle, I kind of blended it together, let that dry. The collagen colors dry really, really fast, too, so then once that dried, I went ahead and I glued my ghost on really quick. And the ghost doesn't affect anything when I go to epoxy it because it technically is, like, kind of floating, so you can still get underneath it and paint it so that the paint is sealed in epoxy also. Make sure that you sand this little part down also because that helps a lot. And then, yeah, that's how it turned out. Um, I glued it down. You'll see me do that here in a little bit. And then I just placed it right on the middle. 
And then, yeah, I didn't want to add like little puzzle pieces. So I found like some random um, puzzle pieces that I had. And I actually put that on the ghost. You'll see that here later. But what I did do for the rest of the cup was all of that glitter you see me add in the beginning, I added sprinkles of it into my final layer of epoxy so that the entire cup would still have like all of that glitter showing, even though like it's kind of a peekaboo and you can't see it now, but you can see at the end. So that's what I did. After I mixed all of that glitter together, like sprinkles of it, um, I then used that to coat my ghost also. So my ghost is, I mean, the ghost is already glittery because of the clay, but then like it's like glitter, even more glittery now at the end. So I went ahead and I glued that on my hot glue and I let that dry and then I went back and I started epoxying it. I did use this cool from, tool from Kalebell Custom. I feel like it really held it really good. I didn't know that I would be able to fit this little sliding part in it, but it fit perfectly. Like where you go to tighten it at, it fits perfectly in there. And I kind of did like a TikTok video that yesterday showing that or talking about it, but yeah. And she has like a 40 ounce um, lid assistant also. So you could, you could just, if you want to make it bigger, like a bigger ghost and paint the whole thing, you can definitely do that. I just made it on the little sliding part. I think it would actually be cute to have like a bigger ghost on it. Um, but I just wanted to make a smaller one for this one, not a, not a big one, but yeah, you can still decorate the 40 ounce lids. And then I just used the paintbrush to go ahead and seal everything. After I got done with that, let it dry. I sealed my cup the same way with all the same sprinkles of glitter in it. And then you'll see that here in a little bit. And then I went back and added three little puzzle pieces to my ghost. I love the way this entire thing turned out. This entire month, I wanted to take the time to bring awareness to a lot of things. And I definitely want to talk about autism a lot more. I am on the spectrum myself. And there's a lot of people that are that aren't even diagnosed. But the way that I see autism being talked about sometimes just really, really hurts my feelings, especially for other people. One thing that I want to say, especially since it's on the cup, is that people need to learn how to be kind. I hope everyone loved this tutorial and thank you for watching.